What is going on everybody? My name is Pete and you guys are watching Pay to Drive and Pay to Drive Vlogs. Uh, day number 1457 coming at you once again with another brand new video. Hope you're all doing fantastic out there. And ladies and gentlemen, if you drive for apps like Grubhub, DoorDash, Uber Eats, or any of the others, you my friends are in the right place to stay up to date with what's going on in the gig economy. So get started right now for free hit that red subscribe button down below, turn on all notifications so you're always notified whenever I post something new. And if you wouldn't mind it, hit that like button down below. It just lets YouTube know that I'm doing a good job. In fact, leave a comment right now saying liked, L-I-K-E-D, just so I know you did it. And let's jump into the email, Triple Lindy, Thornton Mellon style, and here we go. So this comes from Mike again, or Michael, and he goes, hi Pete, it's Mike again. I accepted a delivery from Friendly's. And by the way, I'm actually really jealous of you that you have Friendly's still, because we don't have any in our area. Not anymore. They all closed up for the most part and they really had great ice cream. I accepted delivery from Friendly's for $6 to go three miles, which is not bad. You're getting $2 a mile. That's not a terrible order. I pulled into the parking lot and checked what I was picking up and it was ice cream. There you go. I then got an offer for an add-on for Dollar General for $18.50 for an additional three miles, but it was 14 items and I'm not great at shopping. And I told you guys a while back that Dollar General was now going to start being uh, part of the, you know, part of the orders now, especially on DoorDash. Um, so yeah, see, uh, cause I don't know. I mean, eighteen fifty is not bad for an extra three miles, man. It's just, I don't, I wouldn't want to have to do the shopping myself. I felt I needed to reject the offer because I was concerned about leaving ice cream in my car while I shopped for what might take 30 minutes. So I declined reluctantly. As much as, you know, Mike, I just wanna step in for a second and say this. The fact that you, you know, used cognitive thinking here and critical thinking and said, you know what, ice cream's gonna melt. You know, even if it's cool outside, the ice cream's gonna melt in my car. The customer's gonna get pissed and, you know, God only knows what's gonna happen. So I'm gonna be honest, you made the right decision. I would have done the same exact thing. A lost opportunity, but I'm not getting a strike against me for $18.50. Have you ever heard of this or run into a situation like this yourself? Thanks for your time and keep up the triple Lindy Thornton Mellon style. I like it. See, it's catching on, guys. It's catching on. All right. So as I just said, Mike, I really feel like you handled this very well. Um, I myself have not run into this particular situation, but I am not a big fan of add-on orders. I will be the one to decline those and just stick with the main one because it can get messy because then what happens is you have the first order and then something always goes wrong with the second one and now you're waiting around, waiting around and then the first customer could have had their food already. It just turns into a mess. Also, like I said, I do not like these like shop and pay orders or shop and deliver orders or whatever the hell you want to refer to them as where you have to physically do the shopping and use your, you know, DoorDash red card or whatever. That is not my forte. It is not my cup of tea. It is not something I like to do. Uh, and I've mentioned in other videos, I understand some people just swear by it. They love to do those types of orders to each his own. It's completely, you know, up to you. Like, you know, like they say, different strokes for different folks. Remember that show, Different Strokes? What you talking about, Willis? I miss those. I miss those days. I'm, I'm an old soul. What can I say? But anyway, Mike, I think you handled it well. Let me just ask all the dashers and drivers out there, how do you feel that Mike handled the situation? Would you yourself actually have taken that 1850 order and kept the ice cream in your car to melt so that you could go do a shop uh, shop order at Dollar General? Because again, you'd, I'll tell you this, the Dollar, uh, what is it? Um, Dollar Tree is the one we have. The Dollar Tree that's local to me, they always are understaffed. They have like two people on the registers and the lines are literally down the aisles, okay? We don't have Dollar General in my particular market, but just from that perspective right there, you'd be screwed. That person with that order of the ice cream would be screwed and it would be melted by the time that they got their order because if you had to get stuck on a long line or something like that, it wouldn't have been good. That's, that's you know, that goes without saying. So drivers, what would you have done? Would you have done what Mike did? Would you have rejected that add-on or would you have taken it for $18.50 for $3? That's a great order. But again, you have to shop for the item. So I'm not, not with that. 
So anyway, if you guys ever have anything you want to share with me, a comment, a topic, a question, a story, an article, whatever you got, send me an email. Paid to drive stories at gmail.com is the best way to reach me or for a quicker response. You guys can message me through Patreon at patreon.com forward slash paid to drive. That link is in the description down below or in the pin top comment. Uh, and anyone who signs up as a patron is my way of saying thank you as I give you guys shout outs in all my new videos, which I'm about to do right now. So when you hear your name called, say, hey, Pete, I heard my name. We've got the very generous Samantha Michaels, John Birchfield, Brian Pomeroy, Brian Medina, Heidi Barnes, Ivan Jerome Gilroy, Joe Valerio, Angela Counts McCarty, Kurt Paul, Lee Peacock, Telsa Todd, William Boudreaux, Laura Love, Agus, Tom Perry, Alan G. Van Horn, Lawrence Brown, Drew Hanor, Fernando Carranza, Frank Haviland, Fresh One, Jason Casta, Justin Case, Lulu Laura, Natalie Mosley, Sarah Keston, Scott Freisner, Sherry Cassidy, Stephen Neely, Joyce Hine, Brian Richardson, Kenny Bess, Ginny Thomas, Candace Mitchell, John Bonacci, Matt Epperson, Nick G, Stacey Miller, Terrence Pacheco, and Valerie Brown. So huge shout outs to every single one of you guys out there. Really appreciate it. And uh, yeah, with that being said, my friends... Uh, yeah, if you guys want to sign up, links are down below. Who's going to be the next patron? Maybe it'll be you. Let's find out. And of course, I hope every single one of you out there is saving lots of money on your gas with the Get Upside Gas app. It's a free app for your smartphone. Link is in the description down below. Just scroll down this page. Look where it says Get the Free Gas app. And then from there, what you got to do is you download it to whatever kind of phone, tablet, or device you have. And then after that, you go to your gas station, pump your gas, print out your receipt, take a picture of your receipt, with the Get Upside Gas app, and within 48 hours or so, you'll get anywhere from 15 cents to 45 cents a gallon back, which is pretty fantastic. And if a friend or family member signs up using your code, you'll get paid every time they pump gas. It's called Get Upside. Links in the description down below. Make sure to download it today. And finally, for all your t-shirts, hoodies, and goodies, you guys should go, you should guys should know where to go by now. PaidToDriveStore.com is the place for you, my friends. That's right. Links in the description of the pin top comment. We've got lots of brand new designs, colors, sizes, you name it. We probably have it on sale every day. PaidToDriveStore.com is the place for you. Links down below. And if you made it to the end of this video, I'm extremely grateful for you all. Let me know by leaving a comment saying END338, E-N-D 338. Just lets me know you made it to the end. Don't forget to hit that free red subscribe button down below and turn on all notifications so you're always notified whenever I post something new. And if you wouldn't mind it, hit that like button down below. Just lets YouTube know I'm doing a good job. In fact, leave a comment saying liked, L-I-K-E-D, just so I know you did it. And of course, until next time, get that money, get that honey, keep hustling and keep bustling. And we'll see you next time right here on Paid to Drive and Pay to Drive Vlogs. And as always, drive safe, be well, and we'll see you on the next one. Peace, everybody. Later.